Widgets have arrived inside of Figma and they are mind blowing. They're fun, they're effective, they're productive, and they're opening up all sorts of different things we could never do inside of Figma. So today I'm gonna to show you my top five favorite widgets inside of Figma. All right, we have Figma open and you can see in the top left-hand corner, we have a new navigation item in our top nav bar and that is the resources menu. When I click that open, we have now access in one place, one-stop shop to find components plugins and also our new widgets. And so now let's talk about some of my favorite widgets starting with the navigation widget. Navigate is really simple. We're gonna click on it and it's gonna allow us to guide people smoothly through our boards with navigational buttons. And we just press add and you can see a little button has been added right here. I'm gonna put it on top of the stream screens that I have here. And then I'm gonna click setting. This will allow me to choose title and icon. I can customize my button. Um, so I'm gonna put stream page or something like that and we'll add the destination. Let's choose the current location, boom. Now we are exactly like placed exactly where our current location was when we selected that button. I can now take that stream page button and put it anywhere in my document. Let's say or I was over here and I was talking to um, you know, a stakeholder and I was showing them the design. And of course, when you click here, it goes over to the stream page. I click on it, boom, it's going to fly me over, animate me over to the exact spot that that button was formed and where I placed that destination. Another widget that I really love is the simple vote widget that allows you to do that. Just simply vote on something. We're gonna come into Figma, open up our widgets and use simple vote. I'm gonna hit right there and add one to my project. All right, so we have some parameters that we can set for our voting and we can say we want it to be secret until we show it later. Do we want it to be anonymous? We can allow people to put down multiple votes. Let's say a max of five and we will start. And now we can uh, actually place these voting elements anywhere we want. Let's say there, there, there and there. We just wanna say, hey, I want your vote. What's the most successful screen? A great use case would be an A or B test. Hey, do we like this screen versus that screen? You could use this like for all sorts of use cases. Where does the company wanna go on our retreat? This place or that place? And you just come in and click the little plus button. And I have five votes as a user that I'm allowed to give. I just gave one of them to that artboard. I'm gonna give two of them to this artboard, one more of them to that artboard. And you can see how voting would take place. Another really fun widget is the activity tracker widget which actually allows you to track time and do it all right inside of Figma. So if you wanna create a time card, track your work, you can do that with the activity tracker. I'm gonna click that and add it to my project. I can come in here really quickly and just name my activity. Maybe I am designing the dashboard. I'm gonna go ahead and press play on that. And so I can just create a time card right here. And when I'm done, I press stop and it's logged those minutes. But this is actually a pretty cool plugin if you just wanna do some simple time tracking right inside of Figma. All right, the next widget that I really love is being able to add some notes, specifically using Markdown, because I'm a big Markdown fan. So this is the Markdown notes and I just click that and add one of those to my project. And now I can actually create a new note right here and I can use Markdown. So if I wanna do a H1, a headline, I can just put a hashtag and start typing here. So this is my headline. And then underneath that, I could be able to type my message and then I could do like a little separating line or something. And then I can do like an H2 here. So secondary uh, issue and then type. So I just get like some formatting. And if you're a Markdown fan like me, this could be really, really helpful. Once we're done with our note, uh, we can, it timestamps it for us and says who that note is by. I'm gonna push done and there's my note. All right, the last widget for the day is going to be absolutely mind blowing. And that is the one where we can add voice memos directly inside of Figma. We know that there is some voice capabilities that have come in Figma, that they're working on some more things, but this one takes the cake in my opinion. We just hit voice memo like that, add it to our project, and we get a little voice memo button. So now we have our record memo. I'm gonna put it right here next to our stream list. I'm gonna click record, and I'm gonna start recording just like that. So we can say a little something about our project, then we press stop, and we can enter a title. Now, when we're ready and or somebody else comes in here, all they have to do is come in here and play. Just like that. So we can say a little something about our project. That is 
absolutely bonkers that we can leave voice memos directly inside of Figma. Using these widgets is going to grow, increase, and improve what you're able to do inside of Figma, and it starts to become more and more like that singular tool that you really kind of only need if you wanted to. And so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design, development, and Figma, just like this one, so maybe you'll stick around. Hope you're having a great week. I'll talk to you soon.